Okay, great. So now we're gonna research a new topic. Why is this one? Oh, because we got it from a contract. Technology, that's interesting. Okay. Evento has announced their TESS console. And it's gonna have 16 bits of graphics and sound. Ooh, that's, that's quite something. <laughs> Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment. Okay. So, is it now released? I hope so, because then we can also create a new game on a new, like, very popular uh, console. Okay, let's develop a new game. So, can I... Market shares at 11? That's not that much. I thought it would be bigger. Maybe we have to wait a bit. Like, let's wait two weeks. So if we check now. Yes, the platform. It dropped. Okay. Well, that's that sucks. But the percentage has fallen down because now it's only 23% instead of 30. So let's make a medium PC game. Let's make a military. And it's going to be strategy. And then we're going to call it... How we're going to call it? Hmm. The beaches of La France. Okay. It's going to cost 165k. That's a lot. And it's going to be in 3D. Or... Yeah, it's going to be 3D. Hi boss, I have a knack for security and I think we could really do with some security upgrades in our office. I've done some research and I think an investment of 50k would be a lot safer than we are now. Sure, we've got the money for it. Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike in small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game, you basically have to balance your team. Okay. Yes, so you pick a designer for design things, and you pick a, like a real developer for developing things. Okay, so first, engine is important, gameplay not so much. And sorry, not so much either. That's what costs extra, okay. So the engine is going to be a technical thing. Gameplay is going to be an all-around thing. And story is going to be more creative, I think. And so that's how we're going to balance it out. Let's hope we do this right. Okay. Oh, it's just been released. I thought it was already released. Oh, okay. We should have waited longer. I think it's going to be a big hit. Artificial intelligence is important, important in military strategy games. Level design is less important. So is dialogue. So we're going to put a tech person on artificial intelligence. Level design. Semi important. Well, no. We're just going to put our designer on this. And all around, we're going to put on dialogue. This should be a good focus. Come on, generate those points. Okay. So we're going to have better sounds, open worlds. Wait, why would you have an open world? That doesn't make sense. We don't want that. We don't want an open world in a military game. Doesn't make sense. We're not playing Fortnite. <laughs> Graphics are less important. World design is important for strategy. So, designing the world design, okay. Sounds. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. Like, 
we ourselves are a bit overstretched, but it's fine. Okay, let's do this. Got a quite a chunk of points already. That's good. We're gonna finish the box. Get some extra design and technology. Okay, and then finish the game. A new record. Great. And release game. Gonna generate a game reports. Okay. Let's see. FIFA La France. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be good. A 10. A 9. Still not a full 10. And a 9. And a 10. Okay. This is gonna give us loads of money. Set a new standard for the early gaming industry. Well, we just are smart, aren't we? Wow, look at that. Okay, we're just gonna hire more people now. We're gonna make two all-around people. Yes. Gonna look for more people. I think it's because now we've got a success, so now we should invest. The PlayStation? Oh, that's gonna be it too. And the first one using a CD. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. We will see. Yes, this person is going to be our aunt. 34k. That's a lot. Yeah, we're going to have you. And let's have another one. The Beaches of La France, the newest game by Dutch Rebel Studios, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Well, I'm happy. So the new quality for standard future games. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I think it's also a great name. Okay. I want to send you on vacation. Why can't I send you on vacation? I don't want to fire you. 500k? Awesome. Why can't I send you on vacation? Well, I guess we're going to train you then. Don't repeat yourself. And I'm going to train you in Code Incomplete. And you're going to be trained in Game Dev Gems. Gonna hire another person. This seems fine. We're both gonna train you with welcoming training. Look at how diverse our staff is. <laughs> it's almost on purpose. <laughs> In two months, the test will be taken off the market. Okay. So we've got a white guy, we've got a uh, another white guy. I think it's Asian or yeah, Arabian maybe, and an Asian and Asian. Okay. The bar is slowly going up, I think. Yes, it's going up. So, I think everyone just needs some time to get back into the game, I think. The test is no longer supported. So, okay, what is supported now? Which platforms? Okay, yeah, so the test is 70%, that's quite good. And the PlayStation is unknown, so it's not out yet. Yeah, let's just give everyone some time to relax and enjoy the sales of over 10 million now. Okay, and I don't, oh, only 100k, that's not that much. Okay, so I think we're gonna develop one more game after this. And once everyone is fully rested, and then hopefully make a hit game. I mean, the office looks nice. We've got like a gaming room, some drinks, some game design things. Why are you going down? Oh, now I can send you a vacation, okay. So that means you are okay, exactly. I guess I never go on vacation? I guess I don't. <laughs> okay. 
then let's start a new game. It's going to be... wait, what are the topics we can research? Construct... oh, that's interesting. Let's do an construction one. And we've got 20 more points, so... Virtual pet, okay, that's gonna be good too. Governments? Hmm, I don't know about governments. Let's research comedy, no. One, two, three, four, oh, okay. Yeah, let's make game dev, let's research that. I'm pretty sure there must be some achievement for that. There's no reason they would have otherwise put it down. We've discovered that a fan has created a, a game using a lot of our like own source. They don't make any money with it and it just seems to... Yeah, let them be. It's fine. I'm gonna make millions more anyway. Not gonna, not gonna be our competitor anyway. Okay. Let's make a new game. It's gonna be medium. It's gonna be construction. It's gonna be a simulation like constructing cities I guess it's gonna be for PC because PC is great for simulation and we're gonna make it with Rebel Engine 2 we're gonna call it Simonian C Sim Sim uh, Sim Plaza Build Sim Paradise. There we go. And it's gonna be in 3D because buildings are 3D. Or in 2D. Now we're gonna do it in 2D. We're gonna make a beautiful 2D building game. Like Sim SimCity or City Skylines. Or not SimCity. Like SimCity 4 and the older ones. Engine is going to be important. But gameplay is, well, no, gameplay is important for a simulation game. I hope. <laughs> and gameplay is something for designers, so you're gonna get the design. Then we're gonna make an all rounder do the story in quest. And the engine is gonna be done by Amy. Okay. There we go. Look at all those points. I got word that Dutch Rebel Studios is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information? Yes. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions you're going to make. What are you going to focus on? I'm going to focus more on the engine. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Oh, this is nice to look at. Look at all those bubbles. Artificial intelligence not that important for simulation. Level design is. So therefore, yes, our best designer is going to be on it. Um, tech is going to be focused on artificial intelligence. And yeah, let's put you over there. And the next stage we can use our like new interns more. I hope. Uh, more like this. It seems that action games, of course, because that's why we're developing a simulation right at the moment. <laughs> Lucky bastards. Okay. We're already generating lots of points, that's good. Okay. We're gonna make an open world simulation game. Would you want that? I don't see why you would do that. World design is not so important. Graphics are important for simulation. Sound is less. So we're gonna put our intern on this. No, we're gonna put ourselves on this. To better utilize our good points in design. Um, we're gonna make our intern do that. And sound, what is what is sound? Is sound technical or is it creative or is it both? Oh wait, so you can use someone that's good at both on this. I think 
Yeah, I think that's that's the point. So creative. No wait. Creative, creative, creative. Or semi-technical. Okay. I'm confused, I don't know. Let's just continue. We'll see. We'll have to research this online. A look at those points. I think this game is either going to be a huge success or just lots of points because we have more people. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It's essential to build hype to ensure the players are excited about your game. In the beginning, it's mostly generated by random events, but once again, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing. Okay. So we've got a hype of one. Well, that's good. <laughs> New record. Our designer was leveled up. Okay. Oh, that's not good. It's <laughs> more money. <laughs> Generate a game report. Please let it be good. I can deal with that. That's fine. Make that an eight, seven, okay. Eight. And another eight. Great. That's gonna make decent money. I'm guessing like 15 million in total. Maybe not. Dear Dutch Rebel Studios, we've followed your progress in recent years and they've invited us to G3. Great. So having your own boot at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype your games. And we think our audience would love to see you there. Awesome. Okay, but um, we're going to cut it short today. Or I don't even know for how long I've been recording. I should probably monitor that. But um, I'm just going to say uh, that... I enjoy playing this game and I'm going to continue playing this and if you enjoy it too just please let me know or if you have any ideas for a new game like just tell me like tell me in the comments and tell me what you would think I should do so don't forget to subscribe and support me and like you will see all my upcoming videos much easier that way so with that said have a good night and goodbye